The Baden-Powell Trail traverses 48 kilometers across Vancouver's North Shore Mountains from east to west, at which point runners of the Vancouver 100K will turn around and head all the way back to Deep Cove where they started. The Vancouver 100 is considered to be one of the most difficult 100K routes around due to its technical trails and more than 5,500 meters of elevation gain. This would be a training run for me and a bit of a tune-up in preparation for my goal 100 mile race in 10 weeks time. So it's uh, about 4.30, uh, I was up at 3.45 this morning and we're just making our way over to Deep Cove on the North Shore and get started at 5 o'clock. I'm fortunate that Audrey has offered to get up with me and drop me off there at the start and she's also going to be carrying me throughout the day so I'm really looking forward to having support for my run that would be much harder otherwise. So many people. <laughs> Everybody awkwardly standing away from each other. Yeah. <laughs> so we're just making our way down to the water here in Deep Cove so we can touch the water and claim a water bag of Black Mountain, which we'll be reaching in about uh, six hours. <laughs> All right, hopefully back here in what, 16, 17 hours? Something like that. Now we touch the hydrant. Okay, see ya. See you guys out there. And now we're just starting with a quick out and back on the road here. One of two road sections in the entire course. And that's because the course is just shy of 50K. So to get our 100K, we have to do an extra two at the start. Oh, great. Yeah. <laughs> okay, turn around. Almost there. Good morning. I'm here in Deep Cove. The boys, Jeff and Jeff, just started their van 100. About a quarter after five here, Saturday morning, and uh, I'll be crewing all day. We've got lots of good stuff. Um, cooler full of beverages, snacks, first aid, all sorts of good things, and change of clothes and stuff for Jeff because it's supposed to rain later. So yeah, should be fun. Follow along. Starting at the ocean in Deep Cove, we'll traverse below Seymour Mountain, Mount Fromm, and Grouse Mountain. We'll then pass through Cypress Mountain Resort, where we'll summit Black Mountain, before dropping down from Eagle Bluffs to the highway and trailhead at Nelson Canyon. From here, we'll retrace our steps all the way back to Deep Cove. So the baden Powell normally goes out to a place called Quarry Rock, which is actually quite a beautiful view over Deep Cove. It also happens to be one of our most popular trails. So that was uh, closed down for COVID. So we actually had to detour a little bit, take a different trail, and now we're back on the Baden Pell. The Baden Powell was named after Robert Baden Powell, the founder of the Scouts, which I was a part of growing up. Construction began in 1971 to celebrate the 100th anniversary of BC's entry into Canada as a province. The project was initiated by the Boy Scouts and Girl Guides, and a lot of the initial work was actually done by the kids.
green. It rained last night. Uh, we're expecting some showers probably mid-morning and then showers throughout the evening. But one positive is that everything is just super green. Everything's just popping. Two and a half hours in, the temperature's perfect. If it stays like this all day, we'll be happy. So some of these trails uh, where you see crushed gravel or boardwalk, those are maintained by the city, by the district. And then the rest of it's maintained by the Mountain Bike Association, the North Shore Mountain Bike Association. And they do a great job of keeping the trails, you know, flowy, kind of natural, single track, but building them in, the, in a way that's sustainable in terms of drainage and erosion. So we're seeing a lot of that too here. today. So we're just passing below Fromm here and at this point the Baden Powell really does act as a major artery for a lot of the other trails, a lot of the mountain bike trails around here. So it's quite well maintained, it's flowy, really fun single track and uh, we spend a lot of time here because as I said it's sort of the gateway to the rest of the trail system around Fromm. next section of trail is arguably one of the more difficult parts, mentally anyway, at least on the way back. We're just traversing below Grouse and it's quite steep. There's a lot of creeks and drainages and it creates a lot of erosion and the trails are quite technical, but it also kind of feels like you're going uphill both ways. It's not so bad on the way out, but much more difficult on the way back. So it helps to have a pacer. And fortunately, I think my friend Matt's going to be joining me. So he's going to be on fresh legs and he'll be able to keep me moving. The Vancouver 100 is organized by Club Fat Ass. Fat Ass races are super low key and only loosely organized events. 
They're completely self-supported and more like adventure runs than competitive races, with no flagging, aid stations, timing, or official start time. Their concept of a fat-ass race started back in 1978 in California, when a runner named Joe Oakes needed to come up with a 50-mile qualifying time for the Western State's 100-mile endurance run. The next year, he held the event again, calling it the Recover from the Holidays Fat Ass 50. Back then, ultras were relatively few and far between, especially around the holidays. So this was a way to give his ultra running friends a chance to burn off some of those holiday calories, thus the name Fat Ass. The name stuck and numerous Fat Ass clubs have sprung up around the world since. Here in Vancouver, the tradition was picked up by Ian Jackson, who hosted the first Fat Ass 50K run in Canada on New Year's Day in 1993. Since then, the club has hosted hundreds of events, including the Vancouver 100, which has been a tradition since 2005. So we're just passing by the base of the Grouse Grind, which is arguably the most uh, popular trail in North Vancouver. So we'll be popping out at Grouse Mountain parking lot here, and then we're going to hit Nancy Greenway, which is a nice stretch of pavement down to Cleveland Dam. A nice chance to stretch out the legs on the way down anyway, and then of course on the way back we're going to have to climb back up. But this is definitely our longest stretch of pavement on the entire route today, so we will take advantage of it. It's about 8.45 now. I'm expecting Jeff and Jeff any minute, hopefully. We've seen a few runners already coming through, some friends, so it's quite fun. Hey. Hey. Hi. Hey. 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 Hi. Welcome, welcome. Thanks. Hey. Okay, I'm going to refill bottles. Okay. You need watermelon? You need yeah. a GoPro battery? Who's on at these aid stations? <laughs> <laughs> this is it. And a whole lot of waiting around. This and is all the magic seeing happening. Seeing him for five minutes, and that's it. All right. See you later. Okay. See you guys. Thanks okay. for coming. Good to see you. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Woo! Good luck, guys. Okay, so I just left Cleveland Dam. It's about the quarter mark. We're 27 kilometers in, exactly four hours on feet. Uh, we spent about five minutes there. I had some watermelon, some Pringles, some lemonade, uh, refilled my run food and my water. And my mom and uh, her partner Glenn were out, which is cool because my mom's actually never seen me run an ultra before. So that was kind of fun. I'm usually traveling for races. So, and uh, who knows when I'll be running in Vancouver again next. So I'm back running with Jeff here. We're just starting the big climb up to Hollyburn. We'll be running through Cyprus, making our way up to Black Mountain, and then down to Nelson Canyon. This area behind me is called Brothers Creek uh, and there's some really cool artifacts in there. I think it used to be an old cedar mill and so there's a lot of old machinery and at one point this would have been all old growth forest. Um, I think there still are a few big trees hidden back in there if you know where to look. Keep it up.
How you feeling? Oh, feeling good. Yeah. No, it's good. It's good with the uh, little bit of rain. Yeah. Nice temperature. Everything's soft. Might be a little too soft up here ahead. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How do you think that snow is going to be up ahead? What's your prediction? Well, I've been uh, driving Renee. She's been doing it in pieces all week. So I have the beta and uh, it's good in the cross country section, like pack down, runnable and glissadable on the way back. But that section between Hollyburn and Cypress, wet, uh, snow bridges, post holing, the usual fun stuff. Yeah. yeah, all part of the fun. So we've reached the Cyprus cross-country ski area, which is pretty much where we expected to see snow and we have officially hit the snow. I know we walk for days, losing hope, fading love. This night will be okay, waking up to another Okay. We finally made it through that first section of snow. We're on to another sort of technical section here, um, but pretty quickly we'll be out in the parking lot at Cypress Mountain Resort. But this kind of rooty and rocky stuff here is pretty typical of North Shore trails. Um, this is what makes runners like Gary Robbins so good when it comes to races like Hurt, or the Hurt 100 in Hawaii. You can pretty much train for anything here as far as technical trails go. We obviously have big mountains as well, so you can get your climbing in. The only thing we don't really have is altitude. It's hard to acclimate uh, for races like Hard Rock that really puts you at a disadvantage. And the last time I was in Colorado was I was down there to film Gary Robbins and Jared Campbell as they did the Nolan's 14. I flew in the night before and the very next morning I was up trying to chase them up a 14er with the big camera and uh, let me tell you that was a that was a rude awakening. kilometer mark and I'm waiting in the car because it's quite cold <laughs> it's only six degrees up here right now
Nice work. The Jeffs are here. Hello, hello. The Jeffs are here. A little bit early. Oh, yeah? They're really well, but yeah, five, maybe five minutes. Mm. So there's a little bit of sushi. Oh, thank you. Mm, look at that stuff. Hard to beat watermelon and sushi. Chucking? I'm not going to bother with spikes. So we just left our second pseudo aid station here at Cypress Mountain. This is kind of reminiscent of racing in the Alps actually, running through a ski hill like this. And we're definitely going to encounter a bit more snow here. Well, it didn't take long before we hit the snow again. We've reached the summit of Black Mountain and it's starting to hail pretty hard. So no views, but oh well. Okay, thanks. How you doing? Oh, thanks, man. I'm making one today. Uh, hold on, is this it or is that? This is this is us, I think. Yeah. Hello, hello. Good. How you guys doing? The sun's coming out as I approach Eagle Bluffs here. I might actually have a nice view of the city. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> that was a full-on garage sale to save the camera. Oh, wow. These lenses scratch so easily.
It's funny because you can hear the highway down there. You can hear the cars rushing by, taunting you. And it sounds like it's so close. And yet it's so far. I've still got a good, ooh, I don't know, 800 meters to drop here. And it all looks like this. I am now at Nelson Creek near Horseshoe Bay here in West Bend. That's the halfway point of the Bend 100. There's lots of activity here. A few crews, people setting up uh, snacks. Uh, all sorts of good stuff, uh, so it's been fun to watch people coming in. Uh, yeah. Hi. I had like this awesome setup over there with the rocks and everything, and then it just started raining. No, uh, yeah. I'm gonna go for a run and then okay. I'll leave. Thanks. Okay, I'll see you back at, at Cypress. Have fun. So that was a fairly quick stop at Nelson Canyon. I had some sushi, some chips, sushi. pickles, and oh, you had sushi too? Oh, there you go. Yeah. Now we're gonna climb back up. Thanks, guys. Good job, guys. Lots of friends out here today. Nelson Canyon is the start of another event, a local favorite race called the Neenackering North Shore Trail Run. Neenacker for short. It's a 30 mile race, so about 47, 48 K, that follows the Baden-Powell from Nelson Canyon back to Deep Cove. So basically exactly what we're doing now. And it's considered one of the toughest 30 milers around and well, you can probably see why. Yeah. Yeah. So just one more time over the North Shore. What are you doing? Just do the whole thing over again? Yeah, casual. beautiful stretch of trail you've ever seen.
are you doing? Hey, Joe. Hey. Yeah, yeah, it's right this. Well, last view of the day. Yeah, it will be, hey? Yeah, thanks. <laughs> What are you up to today? What craziness? Uh, <laughs> I'm apparently, I'm doing five repeat of the uh, Nienacker course. 250 kilometers. 250 kilometers. And what kilometer are you at now, roughly? I am finishing 200 at the Nelson Canyon and then head back. <laughs> Thank you. Amazing. Machine. Amazing. Yeah. Such an inspiration. Oh, Such an inspiration. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yeah. Okay, see you guys. Enjoy. Yeah. Be good to see you. I'm a... You too. You're crushing it. Yeah, Sammy's a beast, eh? He's amazing. Hey, you made it quick. Barely over two hours. Oh, good. Yeah. Have a good climb, time. That climb is pretty exhausting, I'll tell you that. Uh, I bet. Great. But the downhill was fun. So we're at Cypress Mountain downhill area for the second time. I'm going to eat a little bit of that wrap there, maybe. Yeah, let me grab that for you. Um, I'd love some lemonade. Some food. I'm feeling good, having fun. We had some views on Eagle Bluffs, which is nice. Yeah. Saw a bunch of friendly faces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have, you, have some potato and salt. Oh, you, there you go. Okay. Thanks. Okay, we'll see you at the dam again. Ah, pickles. <laughs> Pickle flavored kisses. Okay, have fun guys, looking good. See you down at the dam. We'll race you there. See you at the dam. See you at the dam, girl. All right, so we just hit the 12 hour mark. I'm feeling pretty fatigued, you know, as expected. My legs are a little tired, but overall I feel pretty good. I think I've stayed on top of my nutrition pretty well, my hydration. Yeah, and then I think I'm pacing myself pretty well, so. And I don't see uh, finishing this thing being a problem at this point. Look who we have here. It's my good buddy, Adam Harris. You'll know him from a lot of my fast packing films. And he started much later than me and he's on a blazing pace today. Looking in fine form. How you feeling, Adam? Good, man. Good. A little, a little slower than expected, but I think I'll probably still go sub 15. Amazing. Something like that. Amazing. Yeah. Uh, Adam's got his uh, wife, Jill, supporting him today. And yeah, my mom. Oh, and your mom, awesome. My mom, yeah. Although he's running mostly solo. Do you have a pacer at all? No. Okay, nice. Well, go get her. Don't let me hold you back. All right, man. Good to see you. Have fun. Yeah, Adam's a talented runner and he's in really good shape this season. He's been working hard training for his upcoming race as well. back at Cleveland Dam for the second time today. I'm expecting Jeff here around 6 o'clock. I'm drinking coffee because the 4 a.m. start is starting to get to me. But the good news is it's kind of sunny, finally. So it must be a nice evening for uh, the remaining 25k. And Jeff is going to pick up Pacer Matt. <laughs> nice work, Adam. Sliding around. No, you <laughs> gotta get that on film. Oh, oh nice bloody knee. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> you, you don't seem too hurt though? No, it was just like I, I fell and I was in shock and then I like hit my chin in the mud and I kind of got oh. up and I was like, oh god. <laughs> 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 yeah. 
Did I just eat bud? Well done, you guys. Looking good. Yeah, yeah. Good shuffle. <laughs> Adam's looking good, eh? Yeah. All right. Looking good. Uh, I'll fill your water bottle. Mm -hmm. uh, to change anything? No. Socks, shirts, you're fine. Well, I'll change my socks. Okay. So what do you guys think? You're, you're ready to hustle back, or is this uh, a pain train? My plan was to run Nancy Green. We'll see how that goes. So I was like, I get to like, You're like I'm gonna get it all. bring it all. That's yeah, there's no limit to what I can bring. There's no flying with a drop bag. All right, Jeff's got his mouth full. I love it. All right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Have a great time. Oh boy. Go, Jeff. You got this. Yeah, we gotta get the dirty feet. Just a second, I gotta get the water. Very nice. That is great. Six o'clock news. Did you make that? Yeah, I do a thing called pioneering. He's a baker. What is it? Blueberry. It's blueberry. It's blueberry apple. Blueberry apple. Nice. Here, I'll hold it so you can. chasing you. You're moving so well this time, Matt. No, it feels so good. <laughs> and you don't have 80k in your legs. <laughs> I don't think Jeff does either, though. <laughs> Look at him. I know. I don't know what you're feeding him, but it's working. Well, the Jeffs are doing good. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Hi, Pepper. Hi, Pepper. Hi, Katie. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Anyone want some fries? I will have a couple. Okay. Oh, fuck. Gotcha. I got like a large. Okay. Get out of uh, here. What was the other thing I was gonna do? That's it. That was your, okay. This is so good. Yeah. Okay, thanks, babe. Okay, get out of here. Nice yeah. work, guys. Great. You're moving really well. Keep it up. Okay, look great. Well done. Thank you. Uh, you got this. Almost there. Come on. <laughs> It's about 8.45 p.m. Uh, it's a beautiful evening. Jackie and I, I think we're gonna have a beer while we wait for the guys. We're estimating they're gonna be done by 10 p.m. roughly. Jeff would be a little bit shy of his 16 hour goal that would put him closer to 17 hours, uh, but still a really good time. <laughs> you did it! Woo! <laughs> I did it! Woo! Oh, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for Nicely thank done. You. Yeah. Oh, Go in so for nice. the kisses! All the kisses! <laughs> okay, Thanks, buddy! <laughs> Hi! Hi! Oh my god! <laughs> How'd you get here so fast? 17 on the dot! Look at that! 17 on the dot! Did it! Well done! Thanks for your help today, babe. Hi, Matt! Hi! You did it! Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Didn't need to do much, Jeff. How did Adam do? He literally just got here. So yeah. what was his time? 15 and a half? No, 15 and like five minutes. Awesome, awesome. That's a great time. Hey! Yeah. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> welcome, welcome! Well done! That's good for No, I didn't at all. You guys did so good! Awesome. Yeah, you crushed it this last bit. <laughs> that felt harder <laughs> than previously. Harder than you remembered? Oh yeah. Funny how that happens, eh? I know. <laughs> it's the old age, it's the old age.